Our next recipe for you is a, a recipe that is lovely and sweet. Now, most people like sweet things and sweet recipes, and I hope that you'll enjoy this one. It's called frozen apricot log, and uh, we're going to put the ingredients together. I have taken one step for time reasons. You start off with softening some dates and some apricots. It's three quarters of a cup of apricots and a quarter of a cup of dates. And you put that together, and I've already softened those, those fruits, and that's what I've got in my bowl now. And just give it a little bit of a mash. You need about three quarters of a cup of water to go with that fruit. And so you've got a lovely sort of jam texture, if you like, or a spread texture. And into that, we're going to put some lemon juice and orange juice, just a teaspoon of each, and some lemon and orange rind. And so we'll pop that in. Thank you, Jade. We're also going to add some sultanas and some coconut and just mix that together. Easier to just mix it in a couple of stages. Eventually you actually need to mix it with your hands and so we'll just take it one step at a time. So get all that together. Then we're going to put in some almond meal. What can we use if um, someone's allergic to or allergic to um, nuts? Can we use something else? That's a very good point. There are people who have allergic reactions or are sensitive to nuts. Uh, sometimes it's a particular type of nut. So you could really replace any type of nut or seed as long as you grind it up. However, there may be people who cannot have any nuts or seeds. Uh, then you would increase your coconut a little and also your skim milk powder or your soya milk powder, which, even, even, which, sorry, which you choose to use, whichever one you choose to use. So we can leave that out. You can leave that out if you can't uh, take it. You could also substitute this with hazelnut meal, just ground hazelnuts or ground any sort of nuts, whatever you like. So let's put that in. And then some skim milk powder, and that's to hold everything all together. You can also use a soya milk powder if you would choose to. And now that all needs to be combined, and that just takes a minute or so to do that. And you might say, well, there's far too many dry ingredients there. This is never going to work. Be patient, because it does. And what you'll find is that you'll need to use your hands and just uh, knead it, if you like, like you knead bread. And I'll show you. I think we're just about at that stage now. I'm just going to put some gloves on and just show you what I mean. And so even the apricots and the dates you can change to other dried fruit, whatever you'd like. And so you just actually knead it until you've got it all, all the dry ingredients nicely mixed together. And it does happen. You just need to knead it for a little while and my mat is slipping around on this bench thank you Jade we're nearly there you might say well that's an unusual mixture but it's a beautiful sweet mixture actually with a creamy type uh, taste because of the milk powder that we've used and that's just about right you can keep these gloves on okay let's take that out thank you now you can coat this mixture with uh, sesame seeds if you like at the moment sesame seeds are very hard to to find in the supermarket and so and all you need to do is to just roll that in the coconut and then we're going to put it in foil and then it's frozen y you freeze it and you actually cut it when it's, it's frozen. Need a bit more coconut. Now you can make this in, in thin logs so that you've got tiny little pieces or you could make it just in one piece as we have done. Yeah, if you could hold that. <laughs> That's all it is. And we put it in the foil, actually at home, uh, to save all this messiness, you can actually put the coconut on the foil 
and uh, just roll it up and that now goes into the freezer. And then for the finished product, this is what it looks like and you will slice it into small slices and you can just serve it as something um, for after dinner, just after a meal. You can also take it with you for a picnic. It's not going to completely soften, but it will be a little softer than what it is now, of course. But it is a lovely recipe. It has a, a fruity taste with a, a creamy type of texture. <laughs>